Hi friends, my wife and I are coming to you. We are celebrating 21 years of marriage. Can you believe that? I can't. It has gone by so fast. I know. Where does time go? When you're having fun. When you're having fun, time goes by fast. That's why the Bible says, redeem the time. And I love what it says in the book of Psalms. Lord, teach me to number my days that I may gain a heart of wisdom. Here Amen. we are 21 years later. Woo. Who would have ever thought that we would be celebrating 21 years of wow. marriage in the Lord? Yes, I have loved every moment of it. it hasn't always been easy, but um, 21 years of amazing of an amazing journey with you so i thank god for you yes and i thank god <laughs> for you there's no way that we could have done it without christ in the right. center of our relationship and having christ in the center of your marriage is the key it, it's what gives our marriage what it needs every mm -hmm. single day through the highs through the lows yeah. uh, through the valleys when we're on the mountaintop when we're in and when we're out when we're down and when we're mm -hmm. up uh, keeping Christ in the center of our marriage over the last 21 years has been the ticket. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Definitely. Yes. And I, I love that when you have Christ in the center of your marriage, he teaches you how to deny yourself and how to look out for the interest of your wife, your spouse. I was thinking back when Ray and I first got married, uh, it was within the first year of marriage, I was attending a class at Calvary. It was our home church at the time and it was called Self-Confrontation. How many of you remember that class? And it was on a Monday night and I remember driving home every Monday night, just so broken and crying and, and um, broken over my sin because the Lord was showing me how selfish I was. Mm. You see, I thought he was the problem the whole time. <laughs> and the Lord had to show me that it was not him, it was me. And so I would go to our cute little apartment, uh, so broken and repentant and ask him to forgive me for being so selfish and rude or whatever it was that I, however I was acting and he was always so gracious to forgive me. But boy, that's really when God began to show me how selfish I really was. Yeah, and when you confront yourself, it's not easy. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's hard to confront myself. I don't think anyone likes to confront themselves, mm -hmm. nor do we like others to <laughs> confront us. But self-confrontation <laughs> is hard, but when you confront your own selfishness, your own mm -hmm. sin, you see yourself in light of who God is and mm -hmm. it, it breaks you and it, it makes mm -hmm. you realize that, you know what, it's not about me, mm -hmm. but it's about the Lord and it's about my spouse and, and it's about others. And I have learned over the years that selfishness undermines the intimacy yeah. of the marital relationship. Mm -hmm. It really does. It hinders that intimacy and I think that oneness and that connectivity between a couple because I think it can be easy to get caught up in our own goals, in our own mm -hmm. ambitions and and one can be seeking after um, I don't know, the next the, the next greatest thing yeah. or um, material items or their own ambitions and those plans don't include their spouse and so what happens is it creates a lot of tension within the marriage. And so selfishness definitely does undermine the marriage relationship. Yes, and so the key is deny yourself. Mm -hmm. Paul the apostle said, I die daily. Jesus said to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him mm -hmm. daily. And when we die to ourselves, mm -hmm. we find the blessings and we realize, man, this, this is the ticket. This is mm -hmm. what it's, really all about it's not about me and it's not about my way and mm. it's not about what what I think I deserve I'm not entitled True. to anything and so I just want to encourage you in your marriage deny yourself deny the um, the tendencies of the of the flesh that wants to be first and wants mm. to be right and and all yeah. those things that this flesh wants when you deny uh, yourself and you look out for your spouse, man, a lot of blessings, a lot of great things come. You're rewarded with so many good things from, from denying self and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just dying to that old sinful nature. Yeah. Do you remember 
early on we would struggle with finding a place to go eat yes or we would have a hard time picking what we wanted to do on the weekends and we couldn't decide and so it would turn into like a little argument or a disagreement or a time of frustration because we could not decide and um you know, I think a good exercise for married couples is to maybe if the wife always chooses the restaurants, let your husband choose the <laughs> restaurant or vice versa. If the yeah. husband is the one who always chooses Longhorn or Rudy's or wants that steak or whatever, maybe husbands let your wives choose um, that Asian food or the Italian food that maybe you're not so big on. <laughs> and yeah. uh, it sounds simple, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And there's beauty in simplicity. Mm -hmm. It's the simple things that make a big difference. It's like Chuck Swindoll said, attitude is a little thing mm -hmm. that makes a big difference. And so in our marriage over the last 21 years, we've had to die to self mm -hmm. and we've had to check our attitudes and we've had to confront ourselves and uh, we've Add been able- And one another. And one another, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, that's, that's pretty common. It's true. But we've experienced over the last 21 mm -hmm. years just um, the amazing blessings of the Lord and, and we've, we've experienced that oneness and just the, you know, the, the, the benefits mm -hmm. of, of what marriage is, is, is to be. God wants you to have a, a blessed marriage, not, not a bummed out marriage. It's mm -hmm. not the old ball and chain like they used to say in the days of old, but God wants your ma marriage to be fruitful he wants it to be uh blessed he wants you to be faithful to your spouse and and prayerful and just all those things mm -hmm. just coming out of yourself dying to yourself making your spouse number one helping her out in the kitchen with the dishes i can't tell you how many times i've done the dishes where i didn't want to do it but i had to deny myself and you know and then you're you're blessed because then you have that time with your wife in the kitchen as she's cooking mm -hmm. and you're doing dishes, you're hanging out, you know, and, and just spending that time together and, and making the most of it. And by the way, I've always told you, you look very handsome in the kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I've always said that you look very beautiful in the kitchen. So it starts in the kitchen. Yes, so we wanna leave you guys with a verse or two to ponder and also to just pray and make it part of your marriage. Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. Yes. Uh, looking out uh, for one another, esteeming one another above yourself, mm -hmm. looking out not only for your own interests, but also for the interest of, of one another. And, and it, it also talks about being of one mind, mm -hmm. having that unity, that, that uh, oneness mm -hmm. in your relationship. So work on oneness, mm -hmm. work on um, putting your spouse above yourself, work on dying to that selfish nature because mm. as I said at the beginning, uh, selfishness will undermine the intimacy of your relationship and your marriage or in any relationship for that matter. Mm -hmm. So we hope you guys enjoyed this anniversary video, Keeping It Real Marriage Tips with Ray and Sonia. We hope that you guys will share this message with maybe another couple, someone who's new in their marriage, or maybe they've been married for many years and they just want to refresh. Philippians chapter two, verses three and four. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for being part of this video. And don't stop fighting for your marriage and don't stop fighting for your family, your marriage, is valuable before yeah. God and your family. God created the family. So focus in on your marriage, focus in on your family and uh, keep fighting for those things that really matter because mm -hmm. family, marriage, those are the things that are gonna make a difference for time and even for eternity. So God bless you, we'll talk to you soon. Amen, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you. Love you.